Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. We are right back at the Maldonado apartment. We're about to go and ask Mr. Maldonado some questions about his wife. But first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new. Or just haven't already done so. Ooh, okay. He's not on there, is he? Yeah, and that way you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Alvinado is in apartment 304. Right, he's in 304. Remember, this episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. So just bear that in mind. We're looking for apartment 304. Guessing it's probably upstairs. Yeah, third floor by the looks of things. So let's get up there. Come on, Phelps, run faster. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Uh oh, there's another guy in here. Oh, it's a brawl. Uh, how do you do this again? I can't remember how to block. I just, I can't remember how to do it. Oh, square to dodge an attack. Why doesn't it work then? I literally can't do it. I'm pressing square and nothing's happening. I, I actually can't do anything, guys. It's like bugged the hell out or something. Oh, this is so stupid. It just doesn't work. So you're supposed to press square to dodge. It doesn't work. You're pressing the hell out of square. It does nothing. You're under arrest. Who the hell is this guy, anyway? Which one is the one we want? Phelps, for the love of God, dodge! He's just doing nothing. That's better. Okay, there we go. Now he's dodging. Okay, we did it. Oh, we got to... Oh, good punch. Wonder, well done, Rusty. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. <laughs> Just gonna keep calling him Finbar now. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? It's possible. We don't know. You get the whole place going over, then talk to the neighbor. Okay, we're gonna have to Phelps, look around the flat then, the, or the apartment. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> I just did move Finbar. I don't think there's anything in here. That's weird. Your hat's on the floor, Finbar. Let me just tread on it for you. What's that? No good to me. I don't know what that is. What about in here? Nothing. Well, there's nothing really in this apartment, is there? Oh wait, what was that? Just picked Just fruit picked market. market. 
I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Is it wine? From a fruit place? Hmm. What's this? El Dorado Bar. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Yeah. Interesting. Ah, oh, a shirt with blood this on it. This will take some explaining. Okay. Right, we did all that. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. Got no alibi. You know. Okay, the neighbors. Let's see. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Well, he's not going to be any help. They're always screaming the place down. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, thank you. You weren't much help, though. Jeez. Move, Rusty. No good. Nobody here. Nobody home. Uh, should we do this one at the end first? And then we'll do 301 afterwards. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Ah. Miranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Really? Thanks. We'll be in touch. There we go. I'm thinking you're going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. <laughs> executed restraint. Thank you. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> Do we knock on this door as well? What the hell? Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe Good idea. Too. So check it out. All right, let's go check out the um, El Dorado then. Down the stairs, come on. Alright, where the hell is the car? Where did we park? Over here, that's where. Why is he running so slowly? Oh, there's another way in. Right. El Dorado Bar? Seems like a good place to go, right? Let's let Rusty get in as well. Come on, Rusty. KGPL, Levin King, over. All right, where are we going? El Dorado Bar. Oh, really? I was just going to go to the bar. Okay, we've got to go Another to the police letter? station first. I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters, Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine from him. Uh -huh. He sent another. I really hate this fuck, this Black Dahlia guy. You've seen the Told box? you it was a serial Fucking killer. Nas away at your guts. How? Every he didn't listen to me. Every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Central Police Station, 1.39 p.m. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Downstairs? I mean, you How do you get you downstairs? Lead the way, Galloway. Oh, down here. I didn't even know this was here. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Are they in here? Boys. Yeah, they are. Nice. Come on in. Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the okay. back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Okay. Here we go. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Ah. What does it mean? What's this then? Is this the poem? Let's read it. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Huh. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Did I? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written. Oh, there you go. Phelps knows details. what he's talking about. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, <laughs> I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went it's not the husband, then, though. And see if we can break him. We'll try it, but it's not him. Let's get up there and interview Angel Maldonado. Right, where's interview room two again? It's this way, isn't it? Uh, yeah, right here. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Okay, lost contact with the victim. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Okay. He looks like he's lying. Um, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, there was this, wasn't there? The, the neighbor saying that he ran after her. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Your neighbor told us you weren't. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. What was the car? The car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. Okay. Interesting. Right. Divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Yes, you were. We know they're getting a divorce because we found... There, the letter with the divorce attorney. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. I've got a letter that says otherwise, dude. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. Mm. She came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. 
said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. And I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. Oh, he's a size 8. Okay. Jewelry taken from the body. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. I think he's telling the truth. He just looks upset. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept oh. it locked up in that box of hers. Okay, bloodstained shirt. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Okay, that doesn't sound true. No. Right, do we have anything that proves otherwise? I don't think so, no. There wasn't anything on the window or anything, was there? No, no blood. No, I think it's going to have to be bad cop. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. Oh, I see. From the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. Interesting. There was always one in his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just ah. Like fruit. Ford Street downtown. What was the name of this creek? One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Wasn't him, though. He didn't do it. We know that now. Right, where's next on our little list of things to go to? Probably the bar, right? Yeah, the bar and then the fruit market. Right, Finbar, get into the car. El Dorado Bar. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are yeah, perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Maybe it's been engineered that way. Did you ever think about that? Of course you don't, Rusty. Oh. Wow, I would have run that guy over, I think. El Dorado Bar, 1.52pm. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 oh, years I wonder old. if that was the guy that we saw at the Bamba Club. Like that in here. But yeah, I know what if he's the murderer? Antonio Maldonado. He said he works at bars all over the city. She was murdered last night. And he worked for a temping agency, oh, didn't he? Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Ooh. Hell no. That she could be possible. Last night complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. It would fit she the whole so last night, it's always people who've been bar. drunk thing. I'll show you. I don't know. We'll see. A right, what is this? Can I have another spoon? It's a letter for Angel Maldonado. Oh, divorce papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. 
Oh, okay. Interesting. I'll take that. Right, missing jewellery. Can you remember what jewellery she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Interesting. Can't say for sure. I reckon it could be that bar person, you know. He's hiding something. Uh, we don't really have anything to prove it, though. Bad cop? Where did she go? Give me yes. something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. Ah. She reluctant. Movements of the victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Yeah, I think that's probably the case, man. Yeah, he's telling the truth, look at him. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. We'll game. Question. Don't worry. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Okay. Where now? Where do we go? He drove me up to Mulholland and we did some looking. <laughs> okay. Outside, I guess. Next is the fruit place, right? Suppose. Right, how do we get to the fruit place? Is it over here? Is this it? Apparently it's across the road. Where is it though? Why is that not ticked off yet? Did we miss something? Is there other people to talk to? Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Tip. Refill my coffee next time, no. honey. It's not ticking it off, though. What's out here? Oh. There's something. I heard it. What's it? Oh, is it the jukebox? What the hell? There's some sort of... Oh. The phone's out of order. Okay. Is there anything out here then? This door's open. Sir, do you work here? Oh. Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything yeah. about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I hmm. have to get on with this. Don't Fine. trust this Thanks. guy. Okay, so where the hell is this stupid fruit market anyway? Oh, let's follow him. If Phelps would run quicker, that would be good. What's just there? I see. He could just have wheeled that across the road, really, couldn't he? Instead of driving it all. I suppose if there's a lot of it, though. Right, just picked fruit market. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. We'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. If you say so, just picked fruit market, 1.58pm. Always fresh. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's him again. Just walked through a flipping bollard. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. 
Okay, um, we're going to leave it there, guys, because we're out of time. But in the next one, we will investigate this fruit market. I'm starting to think that that barman we spoke to at the Bamba Club a couple of cases ago could be the serial killer. Because he's been at bars all over the city. He would have had access to the victims. It could well be him, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I will see you all next time.